What's going on guys? Welcome to another Clash of Clans video where today we're taking a look at this Town Hall 9 base and breaking down why it was unbeaten in war. What is up my friends? My name is Echo. Welcome back to the channel where again we're here today with the Unbeaten series featuring another Town Hall 9 base because if you recall, about a week ago, we had a Town Hall 9 base coming out of Clash Champs Champ Base Division, which happens to be the same place where this base comes from. Notice the defending Clan Castle troop is a Lava Hound. We're here today in this video to take a look at bases. We're not looking at the attack strategies being used, although we are looking at the strategy to see how it struggled against this particular base. Now, first things that I'm noticing right here is that this is an anti three-star base design, which means the town hall. What you doing? Macy's back there. I gotta fix her bed. There you go. She literally took my best blanket in the house, which was sent to me by YouTube. It's a YouTube blanket and it's now my dog's blanket. And I bought that couch, which is now my dog's couch. What's even going on? Back to the base though. Yeah, anti three-star design, which allows you to nestle in the center of the base structures that are going to help defend. In this case, it happens to be those air sweepers, which will really mess up the pathing of any air troops. Can you zap those out? Yes, you could zap them out with the lightning spells, but that's gonna tie you into a certain strategy, which you can then defend in other ways with that same base design. Notice that both of the Expos are on air. They're not just set to ground, which means this base is really gonna be set strong here to defend against air attacks. Really like that. And I also like how the air defenses, they're spread around the outsides of the base. Now, also notice the air defenses are right not right next to the air sweepers, which means those air sweepers can't be taken out with air defense at the same time with a lightning spell, earthquake spell combination, or however you want to do it. So now we have the Lalo coming in. The queen got some decent value. Lalo's coming in from the side of the base, but having to go against four air defenses because none of them were taken down. Now, of course, you have Lava Hounds that are there to clean up that and to kind of tank or protect everything along the way. But in this case, it's not going to be enough. Notice the balloons did split and the Lava Hound died out on that third air defense. There still is one AD standing. Also, do you remember how long it took for that queen to kind of get moving in the attack? She was stalled for a long time in the bottom portion of the base where she was her job was really to take out the clan castle and also to take down that town hall, secure, and then get into the center of the base to take out those sweepers. It was all done well, but this one is going to end as a time fail. And remember, a time fail is still a fail in Clash of Clans, but let's check out some other strategies and how they work. Same base, but we're taking this one to the ground. You have your Pekkas, you have your healers, you have your hog riders. This is gonna be a bit of a kill squad going into the base. Notice one skeleton spell in the composition as well. Again, that queen, she's working from down south. Now, whoever recorded this video, I want to see the queen. Ah, yes. Thank you very much. Again, the queen is dealing with that lava hound. What I would love to see here is a wizard or something assisting with that hound just to, just to speed it up a little bit, especially because the previous attack was a time fail. So right now, those pups are all getting cared for. It's working out nicely, and now the queen can move herself forward and go further into the base. Taking down that town hall, nice thing starting out right here. Look at the minion getting that value on the outside. If you can take down one structure with one minion or one archer or one barbarian or one goblin, you know you're getting that good value. It's a great thing to do. Now you got that golem, high level golem coming out of the clan castle. One test wall breaker, which actually does make it to the wall by the way, but the queen, what's she doing? She's going around the outside of the base. So what's happening here is you have a golem tanking, Peck is going into the base with the king and wizard supporting from behind. That's gonna drastically narrow down the base. On the other side of things, you have the queen, she's going around and she's gonna narrow down the base as well. The only concern I have is, is that queen going to be able to take down that bow before the bow starts taking down her healers? We're gonna see. Nice job with that king jumping into the center of the base, taking that jump spell. I think what's going on here is, well, first of all, nice giant bomb with that Tesla. 
putting a giant bomb next to a Tesla, both of those are invisible and cannot at all be planned for by the attacker. So the Tesla is going to pull in tar defense targeting troops. So example, the hog riders, and when the hog riders get pulled into that Tesla because the pathing wasn't set or thought of, the giant bomb is going to beat them down drastically. So you can really trick your opponent, and that was a very tricky play. One of my favorite parts of the base right here was that Tesla bomb combination. It was literally just a, a clutch move by the builder. Now we have the queen going around. Pekkas and king are still in there. Actually, the king is down, but the Pekkas are in there with that golem tanking. Only a few defenses left, but again, we're looking at an issue of time right here. Queen's ability is intact, but now it had to be used because when you don't have time, pop the queen, get her moving through the base. Don't make it wait forever. It's going to be bad. But right now, that's it. 13 seconds left and the base has stood. How would you hit this base? And I want to remind you guys, the link for this base, if you want to try it out, is in the description of this video. So drop on down there, get the base link, test it out, see if you like it, and let me know in the comments. So the next attack is a lightning or a zap dragon strategy. You're going to notice here that the attacker is using the lightning spells to lightning out the queen on the attack. That is the objective. Take down the queen with lightning and try and damage other things around the queen while that's going on. Notice the queen did just go down right by the replay time. And then what the attacker tries to do is soften up the bow, soften up the air defense. So those can be taken down quickly by those dragons. Not a bad play if I say so myself. King going along the outside of the base with the queen to support. What's going on right now is the king and the queen are going to narrow down the base to make it as narrow as possible for these dragons. Electro dragon coming out of the clan castle up top, which is also going to be used to funnel some things down. Then all the dragons going straight on into the base right for that air defense. If I were the attacker, I would have gone in against the air defense that was already a little bit soft. But no, that's not what's going on right now. He wants to go after that heavy one right off the bat. Maybe it's the better play. Not really sure end of the day the base is going to hold against dragons right now let's watch these sweepers what are the sweepers going to be able to do will they be able to keep those dragons back because that is a big part of why this base was built the way it was to really protect the sweepers in the core and look at that the sweepers are pu getting pushed back poison spell on those traps and the dragon's struggling to push through the center of the base but now this one sweeper is targeting the dragons on the other side so it will end up going down to these dragons one more swoosh though there we go. One more swoosh. But look at the Tesla pounding on the core of the base as well. Queen's going to go down to those pups on the outside. And it's all about an Electro Dragon and two dragons getting through. But look at this. Look what we got right here. The Electro Dragon is going to be spammed out by those pups and by the air defense, shutting them down. Lava Hound is a great troop to bring in your clan castle. Works out so well so many times. And now it's just the dragons which are going to be picked off away with that air defense along the outside of the base really solid base very very strong specifically in my opinion against air attacks so if you're looking for an air base this might be the one and finally because it's so strong against air i figure that i would show another air attack which this one is a kill squad lalo you got the golem actually you got the lightning spells in there as well trying to take out that queen and beating down the queen but not actually taking her down so not getting the queen taken out of the attack but definitely beating her down to about a quarter health Pulling that clan castle again with that with that wizard. Now we're going to have that golem that's going to come into the base and tank, get himself in there with the king and most likely the queen behind because that goal is to get them into the base, take out the clan castle, which is going to be that, that lava hound, take out the defending queen, I would like to say, and that air defense right in front. King's going to run himself around. Look at the queen. She's not going in the direction of that, of that hound at all. It looks like it's all on the baby dragon. That could spell disaster for the end of the attack. Queen's going to run herself around. Golem will probably be able to get that air defense himself, but it's going to take quite a few punches and quite a little bit of time. Problem here, the queen was never taken down. That is a brutal mistake by the attacker and a reason why this base was built the way that it was. That queen is safe and protected there right behind those storages inside of the core of the base. The air defense did actually go down to that golem, so really nice job, but the queen is going to be the problem. There are seven minions, so what the attacker needs to do is rush those minions in with a rage spell, but I don't see any rages, and try and have the minion and the pups from the lava hound take down the defending queen. That's going to be a problem. Plus, right now, the attacker is attacking 
into those sweepers. We saw how those sweepers were giving the dragons a hard time just a few minutes ago. It's going to give these ones a hard time as well. Now, I'm reminding you guys, if you like the base, the link is down below. But also going over to ClashChamps.com, check out their champ base division. And you guys could check out other bases that they have, both paid subscription based and free. If you decide to buy any bases over there, or if you decide to get any coaching over at ClashSchool.com, consider using code ECHO. It's going to save you 10% on any of your purchases, along with using code ECHO inside of Clash of Clans, which will uh, directly support me here in the channel. So I appreciate all of your guys' support. Look at that heal spell, but those sweepers, again, anti-air base. This is the one for you. You cannot crush this base with air attacks. It's just extremely strong. Even that poison on the screen, uh, on the queen, is going to be just nothing. Took the pups. Took the pups to get it done. 17 seconds left. Defending Lava Hound is here to shut down the rest of the attack. And that is going to be another defense. This, this base has gone unbeaten in war. She's sleeping now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you back here with another one very soon. Check her out. She's looking at you.